This is about the dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia. It has long been debated and studied. Containing three versions, this hypothesis has seen major changes in its creation. Originally appearing from the introduction of antipsychotic medications, the first version of the hypothesis failed in a few areas. Researchers studied dopamine by itself without seeking what could impact the dopamine receptors, such as outside factors. The dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia version 1, also known as the dopamine reactor hypothesis, while flawed, shed light on a disorder that was not as well understood prior. Second version of this hypothesis, also known as a modified dopamine hypothesis of schizophrenia, provided much needed specified information on the effectiveness of different antipsychotic medications. Increased medications for schizophrenia were introduced after researchers were able to see effectiveness in schizophrenic patients that were not present with previous medications. Further understanding of schizophrenia, psychosis, and eff efficacy of antipsychotics has increased drastically from the first two versions of the hypothesis. In conclusion, despite years of research on the hypothesis, it remains clear that there is a fundamental misunderstanding of how schizophrenia, psychosis, and dopamine receptors work. One critical article from a researcher quotes, Research on dopamine concentrations in post-mortem brain tissue, on homovanillic acid concentrations, and on dopamine receptors have been negative or inconclusive. Therefore, the idea that the symptoms of psychosis or schizophrenia are caused by the overactivity of dopamine is not supported by current evidence. Okay, thanks for, thanks for listening or watching. Whatever you do. Um, sources are in the description. Okay, thanks. Give me your thoughts. Um, I did a lot of research for this, but I also really don't want to be spreading misinformation. So if I messed up anything, please let me know and I will try to fix it. Thank you.